Okay, so we just left Mary Hill Winery, which was fantastic on the river, beautiful, and it's not even five minutes down the road that you have this really impressive museum that I was shocked to see way out here. And we're here with Colleen, and you're the director. Director. And mm -hmm. this is a nonprofit. This is a private nonprofit, um, a Mary Hill Museum of Art. It was uh, founded at the turn of the century and opened in 1940, and it's been open ever since. We've had over two million visitors over that time, seeing this wonderful museum, its collections, and of course the great views along the Columbia. It's really beautiful being right here on the river, and you have a really nice park out front where people can come and walk around. Oh, you have a great park, sculpture garden outside. We have the Lewis and Clark native plant garden and overlook, and there are places to picnic and explore and to enjoy. And then if people don't bring a picnic, you have a little cafe downstairs, which has also a beautiful view with windows and inside and outside seating. Oh, definitely. The cafe is a, a real treasure of the museum. It has a host of different varieties of foodstuffs, from just a good cup of coffee to a great sandwich. Well, you know, I was really impressed with the museum, and very, it's a very interesting in, in, in museum. It has a lot of different types of, you know, artifacts in here. And so Sam Hill was the one who came here in 1928. Sam made his first purchase of land in 1907, actually, which was the land the museum currently sits on today. And then he went on to purchase several um, uh, hundred more acres, some um, 5,000 in all, to tell you the truth, to form his ranching and farming community that he was going to establish here. And the property's still with the museum today, so um, some people like to say it's one of the larger museums in the country because of that. I'm really impressed with how large it is. I mean, you can get lost in here, you could spend hours in there, really. And and it's really fun. So can you tell us a little bit about some of the things that people will see when they come in here, some of the different rooms? Oh, some of the wonderful things you will see. Um, we have a wonderful collection of Rodin, the works by Auguste Rodin, famous French sculptor, um, and it includes uh, Eve and the Thinker and some of his more famous pieces. We have a wonderful collection of chess sets. We have a beautiful collection of um, Native American baskets and beadwork and other materials from across North America. We have the fantastic Teatro de la Mode, which is the 1946 collection of French couture fashions. I'll set on little balls of about what, 18 or 20 inches high. I love high. that. Mm -hmm. It's love really, that. it's really That was my favorite. <laughs> and of course we have all of this beautiful royalty that you can see behind us, which was brought or given by Queen Maria of Romania and her friend Amo Sprackles. So it's just a wonderful, rich and exciting museum full of history and stories and things to see.